Can you troll a jerkbait? And if you can, what speed should you use? And how does it help you to troll a jerkbait? Good morning, guys and girls. Good morning. October 20. October 20. Reading from a Catch a Better Life book on the Catch a Better Life channel on YouTube. Please subscribe to that channel right there if you're not subscribed right now. We have three YouTube channels. Make sure you're subscribed to all of them. If you're a Facebook person, Jimmy Houston Outdoors, all capital letters on Facebook, all capital letters. Uh, this big book right here I wrote, which starts out with the scripture uh, every day from the Word of God. We post these at five o'clock central time. Uh, and I post them every single day of the year, every single day. It's got a devotion I wrote about fishing and a fishing tip for every day. If you want your own copy of the book where you can follow along with me, you can get them at Jimmy Houston Outdoors or JimmyHouston.com. Just go to JimmyHouston.com and uh, you can get them. They're tremendous gift books. you got gifts coming up. Somebody you want to buy some Christmas gifts for, this is a great one right here, under 20 bucks. You can't only buy a book for that anymore. But i uh, be happy to personalize it, autograph it for you, so you'll have it as a keepsake, a great gift. Buy one for yourself and buy one or two for somebody else. You can get them at Barnes & Noble and Hobby Lobby and Bass Pro Shop and Books A Million, just about anywhere books are sold as well. But if you want it autographed and uh, personalized to somebody, uh, you can get it directly from us. October 20, we're looking at Isaiah 43:25, the prophet Isaiah. Really long book in the Bible, one of the most important prophets that God has ever had. Isaiah 43:25 said, I, even I, am... He who blots out your transgressions for my own sake, and I will not remember your sins. That's God speaking through the prophet Isaiah. And he says, I, even I, am he who blots out your transgressions for my own sake, for God's sake, and I will not remember your sins. Oh, my goodness. That's exactly what we want to hear God say, isn't it? I will blot out your transgressions. I will not remember your sins. With the advanced electronics that we have today, do we still need marker buoys? Marker buoys, you know, marker buoys, of course, are those small floating buoys, usually really brightly colored, fluorescent orange, fluorescent uh, uh, yellow, which is chartreuse. And they got a line attached to them, usually about like kite string or something, or bigger than that, with a weight attached to it. And we use it, we throw it overboard to mark a spot, to mark a spot. Most spots now are marked with waypoints on our GPS. Here's what I do in my fishing. I combine old technology and new technology by immediately tossing a marker buoy overboard when I catch a fish out in open water. If I catch a fish in open water, in tournaments, I would have one laying right there beside me. As soon as I catch a fish, as I set the hook before I even wind it in, I'll pitch that overboard or kick it overboard or something like that. If I'm around where a lot of smallmouth or a lot of Kentucky bass where there's a lot of fish perhaps in that area, I may have even have it setting up on the side of my boat where I can just reach over and kick it over the side of the boat. Then what I'll do is I'll peruse all around that buoy with my Garmin live scope looking for structure and looking for more fish. So I've got that buoy as a marker where, okay, I caught one right here. Uh, I can use that and then look all around that area to, uh, with my live scope to try to find uh, whatever structure it might have been on or whatever bait fish might be there or it just simply find more fish. When we ask Jesus, when we ask Jesus Christ to be our Lord and Savior, God never puts a buoy or a waypoint on our sins. He doesn't mark our sins. When we ask Jesus to become our Lord, His GPS page of us is completely empty. It's blank. Totally blank. The blood of Jesus has deleted all of our sins, past, present, future sins, deleted. They're gone. You look at our sin page, our GPS sin page, it's empty. God looks at that and says, that's my man. That's my woman. God did all of that for His own sake. He did it for His own sake. He said, I will blot out your transgressions for my own sake and for his own benefit. But it's even more beneficial to us. Grace. Grace. It's amazing grace. It's amazing grace. Here's our tip for today. And it's, it's a good one uh, because most people don't do this. Uh, a lot of people troll, but most of them don't troll with jerkbait. And you can troll with a jerkbait. Here's the deal. Here's our tip. Slowly trolling jerkbaits. Slowly. You hear that? Slowly. In clear water lakes can be an excellent school locator, locating a school of fish. Might be a school of bass, might be a school of crappie, school of white bass, school of stripers, whatever, but excellent for locating schools of, bass, of fish and can also help you catch giant bass in the wintertime. Giant bass in the wintertime. If you don't have a, a live scope where you can go and, and go around those areas down around the dam and, uh, and, and try to find those individual bass that are suspended out there, maybe 10, 15, 20 foot deep over 30, 40, 50, 100 foot of water, 
If you can't go out and search those out with a, with a forward-facing sonar, you can get in those same areas where those guys are doing that. And you go down like 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 OH Ivy, they're probably going to be 30, 40 boats down there within the first couple of points on both sides of the dam. You can go in there in those areas and simply troll, troll, slow troll a large jerk bait, and you'll have a really good chance of catching one of those giant fish. You've got to just cover a lot of water, just back and forth, back and forth. And if you see on your down-facing sonar, if you see one of those big bass, shut that engine off immediately, pick a rod and reel up, throw right back there where you saw that bass, run that bait over the top of it, you've got a chance to catch your PB, a bass of a lifetime. Guys and girls, have you a great one. Remember, fish lucky, and I sure do love you.